What's up everybody, this is Carl from Techful Goodies, and today we're gonna do something that a lot of people have asked for. I've done a couple Timu hauls on this channel, and a lot of people have asked me to go back and recap the things that I got from one of the videos and let them know that after you know a couple months here, have those products actually been good or not? So that's what we're gonna do. So the one that we're gonna be looking at today is my first Timu unboxing. It's actually the first one that I did on the channel. It did really, really well. I will link it up above here and in the description if you wanna go ahead and take a look at the products that I got. So it's a little bit different format here. I'm gonna be on my computer over to the side here. I'm actually gonna show that video and we're gonna kind of look at it and react to the different products. I'll let you know how they held up, how good they were. Um, and if I would still recommend them. So let's go ahead and slide on over here. And I've got the first one kind of queued up, ready for us to go here. This was a video light that I wanted to be able to use to kind of light up behind myself or sort of light up the scene here. And this one ended up being awesome. It's still working great. Um, I don't have it particularly set up right here in this scene. Um, I'm actually put it in my kit to take with me as sort of a light to be able to kind of have, like if I'm downstairs filming or if I'm outside filming um, in the evening or something like that. So yeah, I would absolutely recommend this RGB light. I think the only thing that I might check next time I ordered something like this was the ability to kind of connect to it with an application um, on my phone and actually change the specific color of lighting. Right now you can only kind of change the light on the back and then you're kind of limited to whatever is built into the light itself. But heck yeah, I mean, I absolutely would definitely recommend that one. So let's go ahead and jump on to the next product. Ah uh, yes, the old Apple Pencil. So a lot of people have asked me if this has been good and yes and no. So what I would say is that it's been great. It works good as an Apple Pencil, but the problem is these third-party pencils don't actually use pressure sensitivity on the iPad. So if you're looking to really do some really good art on the iPad with pressure sensitivity, like a brush or a pencil, it doesn't work like that. But for me, all I wanted to do was annotate a few things. So it works perfectly for me. I get one solid line that's, you know, the same length all the way through, but it worked great, no problem, definitely would recommend. All right, what's next in the video here? Jumping ahead, ah, uh, okay. So this one was the three-in-one charger. Now, I wasn't exactly sure whether or not this was gonna work out, but what I have found is that this is, this is my go-to charger. And the thing about that is, is that um, it does have this sort of wattage on it, so whenever you plug in a device, you can actually see what the wattage is that the device is pulling. So for me, I like to check to see, um, you know, I put my iPhone on there, it's getting 14 watts. I put something else on there, it's getting 4.5. Um, and that really depends on what brick you might be using in the wall and you're plugged into, whether or not that can provide the power that you need. But yes, again, another product that, that I still absolutely use to this day. So most definitely would recommend this one. Have no problem with it. It has iPhone, it has USB-C, and it has micro USB for charging. So awesome, yeah, so far so good. I think there's a couple, of, I think there's a couple of little stinkers here that will come across. Ah, oh, yeah, so the smart plug. So it has been fine, right? But the problem is I don't know a whole lot about smart home stuff. I have another Timu haul coming up here I think within the next couple of weeks or by the end of the month where I bought a bunch more smart home stuff, then that would allow me to get used to using a lot more of the smart home uh, devices. But as far as this one goes, it was fine. I was able to basically just hook up my uh, the application that it came with and I can turn it on and I can turn it off. So no real complaints about it at this point in time. All right, jumping ahead here in the video. Ah, yes, Apple Watch Band. I'm wearing it right now. Absolutely fine. Absolutely perfect. I love it. I use it every day. I'm planning to get a couple more from Timu. Have absolutely no problem with it. I would definitely recommend it. Um, depending on, you know, if you have an Apple Watch or not. It's not a, it's definitely not a band directly from Apple. It's kind of a third party, a duplicate or a copy, but yeah, I have absolutely no problem with that. So let's jump ahead here. Okay. So a lot of people were kind of confused about this one. So this is an ESP. 
8266. It's a controller board. It allows me to do custom RGB lighting and program it with that. That's a little bit farther into the tech side as opposed to the fun sort of little gadgets from Timu. I did hook this up the other day because I wanted to test an LED matrix. Worked perfectly fine, had absolutely no problems with it. My concern was maybe it was a third party one that wouldn't work well. No, it worked great. Um, if you're into that sort of thing and you're looking for an ESP8266 board, Team is a great place to get it. I've also gotten them on AliExpress um, and those work fine too. So yeah, another one that's pretty good. What's next here in the box that we were looking at? Ah, the light bar. Now, a lot of you commented on this because you thought the light bar was pretty cool. I think the light bar is pretty cool too. So I did put it down with my son. Hasn't really kind of quelled the loudness of the game playing or anything like that, but uh, it works great. I watch over at his desk and, you know, when he's talking or when there's sounds coming out of his computer, that thing is, is working like a champ with no problem. Uh, the only thing I would say about that, if you're concerned about it, is that there is a very, very slim differential for volume. So it's not like you can raise your volume and watch it go up. It's almost like once it, once it detects volume, either it's halfway or it's full. It does go up and down very smoothly, but it doesn't have a very good range of volume detection. So it's not like uh, I was able to set it up where if he was in a certain range, he was okay, but if he was above a certain range, then it was a problem. I'd have to have him stop playing his games or whatever, but definitely would recommend. And in fact, I think I bought, in fact, I think I bought a couple more that should be coming here in the mail, but yeah, that was a great product too. You know, this first Timu haul seems like it had a lot of good things in it. If, if you all like this video, go ahead and hit like so that I know you like these follow-ups. And if you do, I will make sure to follow up on every one of them that I do because I know there's some of them that I've had products that seemed good when I opened them up, but by the time I got done and used it, meh, went in the garbage. So let's keep going on this video and see what else we got here in the old Timu bag. Ah, yes. Okay. So this was a smart light that I ended up picking up. So what I wanted to be able to do, like I said, was have some sort of light on the background here with my lamp. Now, one thing that I did not check on this light bulb was the brightness value. What I'm finding is that it is not bright enough. So if you're thinking about picking up a light, don't pick up the one that I got. I mean, it's fine. It works well. But if you're wanting a bit of a brighter light, make sure you look at like the brightness value of the light to make sure that the one you're getting can light up the area that you want. Now, if you're using it in something that has maybe three lights in it, like a ceiling fan or a lamp that has three sockets, that would work just fine. And it's been working just fine and I haven't had any problems with it. The only thing I didn't like is that it had a separate app. So when you have like all these smart home stuff that um, has their own apps, it gets a little bit tedious switching between each one of the apps or even remembering which app you're supposed to use. All right, what's next in the box here? This is the macro pad I ended up getting. So did it work? Yes and no. I did a whole nother video about this macro pad in particular. Um, it did work. In fact, I like the buttons, the tactile feel of the buttons, their mechanical switches all work great. All the buttons were fine. The software was fine to install and to program, but the dial seized up. I can't use the dial that's on there. Um, and in the video, I kind of talk about the fact that that, uh, sort of made it pointless because I was trying to do some video editing where I could, you know, scroll left and right on the timeline. Um, and it just didn't end up working for me. I did buy some other macro pads that I'm going to be doing a video on uh, that ended up working, but I have one now that I really like. So stay tuned for that. Uh, watch for that on my channel. Subscribe if you want to get notified of it, um, but I'll be doing that. But yes, if you're going to order this, I don't know if you'll have the same problem that I have where the, where the dial sort of seized up and became unusable, um, but other than that, it worked fine. And the last on the box is everyone's favorite tech item. I got a couple comments on this. Uh, the plants, did they work great? Yeah, they're right here. I'm sure you've seen them in every single video since then, sitting on my desk, decorating Mr. Rooster here, which I got when I was on a cruise. So when I go on cruises, I buy a lot of different um, knickknacks and stuff to put on my desk. I love having desk stuff and decorating Miss. And decorating Mr. Turtle here. 
So were the plants a winner? Yeah. Um, in fact, I'm pretty happy that I got them. They look good. They sit on my desk and add a little bit of greenery to the videos that I do. So, so I think that's all the products on this particular Timu haul. That's kind of a recap. Looks like they were all pretty good. Um, I still use them all to this day. I have absolutely no problem with if I was to buy them again, I'd, I'd definitely do it. So thank you all for watching this. Again, if you liked this, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I need to know if you like it or not, and I'll do more. Uh, but until then, this is Carl from Techville Goodies, and I'm out.